so hello friends uh, in this lecture i will discuss the linear induction motors so basically we will discuss the uh, various parts of the linear induction motor discussing its construction its uh, principle of operation and uh, linear force as well as its application so when we talk about linear induction motor and uh, this is required what uh, this is required to know what they are so basically linear induction motor is an advanced version of rotary induction motor so basically what we have gone through or what we have learned the rotary induction motor it's basically uh, similar to that but there is a certain modifications uh, which has been done and the purpose is to give a uh, the purpose is uh, to get a linear translation motion so we get a linear translational motion instead of rotational motion in case of linear induction motor in case of linear induction motor the stator is cut axially and and is spread out flat so axial uh, stator is uh, generally it's flat we will discuss in its structure and in this type of motor the stator and rotor are called primary as well as secondary respectively so stator is known as primary and rotor is known as secondary and the secondary of this linear induction motor is consist of a flat aluminum conductor with ferromagnetic core so aluminum conductor with a ferromagnetic core it uh, it's it is in uh, shape is flat so the secondary is consist of aluminum with ferromagnetic core so if we talk about their structure and uh, talk about their uh, classification basically they are uh, classified as single uh, sided linear induction motor and uh, double sided linear induction motor which are shown so this one left hand side one is shown as uh, shown is known as uh, single uh, sided linear induction motor and this is known as uh, double sided linear induction motor so this both are shown Uh, and there is a structure difference you can see in uh, single sided you can see the three phase winding is there primary is there aluminum conductor and secondary is there but in case of double sided there are two primary so one is uh, this side another is uh, one is above another is below so there are two primary this is the difference between the single sided and double sided so if you talk about their construction um if you uh, compare this uh, cons uh, its construction with polyphase rotary induction motor and the linear induction motor you can see in case of polyphase rotary induction motor which we have gone through or we have learned earlier uh, it has stator on rotor is on there aluminum uh, steel uh, aluminum sheet is there so conductor is there aluminum sheet conductor is there and three phase windings are uh, there so similarly three phase windings are, are also there primary is there aluminum conductor so it it is in a it circular and it is in flat shape so this is the difference which were which i was talking in previous slide so if you talk about the operation of linear induction motor if a three phase uh, supply is connected to the stator of induction motor a rotating flux is produced so this flux rotates at a certain speed this is the common phenomena which occurs right so this stator flux this flux rotates at a synchronous speed in the air gap and similarly uh, the primary of the linear induction motor which is connected to the three phase supply and flux will be produced which will travel across the length of the primary right so uh, the primary uh, it will travel across the length of the primary so what 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 will be the uh, resultant of it what will be the resultant of this all phenomena the current is generated in the conductor and uh, which is made up of aluminum material which we have discussed earlier so it is considered that part consists of aluminum material and the current which is induced in the linear induction motor so what what it the induced current will do it will interact with the traveling flux uh, and uh, as a result of the interaction with the traveling flux the uh, uh, the flux produces a linear force so what will happen the, because of the interaction the linear force will produce so what what you can say uh, the current is induced in the linear induction motor and this current a uh, interacts with the traveling flux and as a result of interaction a production of linear force occurs this is the uh, happening this is the operation right if secondary of the linear induction motor is fixed suppose it is fixed 
the primary is free to move and uh, the force will move the primary in the direction of the traveling wave so one part is fixed another part is uh, free to move so what will happen the movement will occur and movement will occur in the direction of the traveling wave so this is the basic principle of operation of the linear induction motor so how the movement is achieved in case of linear induction motor this is the basic principle of operation so <coughs> we have discussed the type so uh, this principle of operation is applicable for both so what i uh, so you can uh, you can see the structure as well so when we uh, talk about the performance of linear induction motor suppose we want the we want to calculate the linear force suppose uh, the calculation of linear force is required so we have to understand the performance of linear induction motor it is simple and it is basically uh, similar to that of a conventional rotatory machine so linear simple speed of the traveling wave uh, will be uh, 2f into pole pitch meter per second so uh, where f is the frequency of the uh, supply which is calculated in hertz and uh, in the rotary induction motor the speed of the secondary in the linear induction motor will always be less than the super speed so it will not operate at super speed at any instant of time it will always be less than super speed this is the basic concept so that's why when you talk about the vr or rotating speed it will be vs1 minus v1 minus s so it is never equal to synchronous speed so but we calculated in conventional motor the similar calculation can be here also so now how the slip will calculate so you will calculate a simple in the slip, slip in the simpler manner as we have done earlier so slip is vs minus vr upon vs this is the simple formula which we use now the linear force is important here so how the linear force is obtained so linear force which is obtained is air gap power upon linear synchronous velocity so whatever the air gap power there divide by linear synchronous velocity and we have discussed the linear synchronous velocity uh, like this it is 2f pole pitch so so air gap power is known and uh, we will calculate the linear synchronous velocity on the basis of that the linear force is obtained so linear force calculation can be done here so now we go for its characteristics so the basically uh, how the thrust um, uh, speed curve work how the thr uh, thrust speed curve is obtained you can see here the synchronous speed at the synchronous speed thrust value is zero right so the thrust velocity curve of the linear induction motor whatever we are looking in the screen is similar to that of the speed torque curve of the rotary induction motor right what were what we have discussed earlier or in uh, in simply induction motor you will see this similar characteristics so if a rotor uh, if rotatory induction motor is compared if you compare it with linear induction motor so what is the difference lim jo linear induction motor it requires a large air gap right and the magnetizing current is greater and the power factor and efficiency of the motor are lower so but but will be the drawback of it the power factor as well as efficiency will go down in case of rotary induction motor the stator and rotor area are same but here it this doesn't happen here in case of linear induction motor uh, one is smaller than the other so one is shorter than the other so they both are not equal in case of normal conventional rotary induction motor both stator and rotor area are same so this is the difference here and if you talk about the steady state speed operation uh, shorter part will pass continuously so the passing of the shorter part will occur continuously over a new part of the other mem member so this is the basic uh, way uh, how it operates so thrust speed curve of linear induction motor is shown and you can see from the diagram the variation of thrust with respect to speed so you can see maximum thrust will be obtained here when the speed further increases the thrust value goes down at at synchronous speed the thrust value will be zero that's why this machine will never operate at synchronous speed this is the reason which i talked in earlier slide so this is the reason why it is it is not supposed to operate at synchronous speed so with the uh, its construction its uh, operation we can uh, we can 
we can mention certain applications so this linear induction motor has number of applications you can <coughs> think about so the basic or major application of linear induction motor is in transportation and electric traction system so basically it is has wider application or major application in case of transportation and electric uh, traction system so a linear induction motor is major part is used in traction system so what happens there the primary is mounted on the vehicle and the secondary is laid on the track so secondary part is put on the track and primary is on the vehicle so uh, movement of the vehicle will occur right so uh, and where, which uh, which direction in the traveling wave direction so which i had discussed in uh, told you in previous slides you can see this now if you go for another application it can be used for uh, cranes so in number of uh, cranes this lean induction motor is now applicable uh, this machine is also used in pumping of the liquid metals so because it has uh, it has a better performance so this machine can be used for various heavy uh, load applications so this machine is also used for pumping of the liquid metals and uh, this machine is also used for uh, various other uh, uh, applications like door movements and like so but it basically acts as a actuator for the movement of the doors so this machine is also applicable there so uh, if you go for another application this machine is also utilized in you can say it is utilized in cranes you can also see the application of linear induction motor in accelerators so number of accelerators which are being employed in various places you can see the application of in linear induction motor so linear induction motor is used for accelerators linear induction motor is also used for high voltage circuit breakers so there are number of applications where linear induction motor can substantially uh, give a better and reliable operation so these were the certain applications so this is all about this subject uh, this topic so we have discussed its construction its principle of operation we have discussed the linear force and we have discussed about the application also so this is all about this part so thank you thanks a lot